guys welcome to tech design hope everyone is doing great so this is the third part for our universal joint so this is called as a yoke so previously i have modeled two uh, parts which is a flange and then a sleeve so if you have not checked that video please go to my playlist and you can check otherwise i will just provide a, a link in the, my description for this video uh, you can go to that playlist or individual part video and you can just check out those two videos uh, for uh, sleeves and uh, you know flange and this is the third part guys uh, which is called as yoke so let's get started So now let's go to new file so i'll just hit a new file and uh, i'm going to save it in the same folder with the name called yoke okay i'll just click ok so this will take you to a 3d workbench so here i'm going to go into sketcher environment on this plane and i'll just click ok so here what i will do is i'll just make one profile so i'll just draw a line here okay so this line so let me give dimension for this this dimension is 85 okay so now let me go to profile and uh, complete this profile now so here okay so this is my profile i'll press c and i'll just make point on a curve so this point should be on this curve and whatever this curve i will just you know uh, unite this so, okay and let me trim this extra lines so this is my extra line and this is my extra line and let me go to point on a curve so this should be on this point okay so now we need to provide some dimensions to this so this is already given as you can see here this is uh, you know uh, 85 mm so now uh, we have to make two circles here so i'll just go to circle and this is a circle with a radius of a uh, diameter of 16.20 okay so there are two circles here and now what i'll do is i'll just trim this extra line so these are the some extra lines so we need to trim so i'll trim them so this is the profile that we need and now what i will do is uh, i'll just provide uh, dimensions to this so whatever this dimension is there so this is 208.25 divided by 2 okay and uh, between this to this line it is 135 okay and now whatever the dimension from this to this edge this center point to this edge it is 32.4 okay and then whatever from this edge to this edge it is 97.2 okay and now what i'll do is i'll just make this like this okay so this is actually 85 by 2 so let me give 85 by 2 here and then we have a fillet here so i'll just hit f and uh, here is a fillet with a radius of 34 okay so now as you can see here um now let me see how many dimension four dimension are there so let me hit this so now as you can see here there is a dimension needed here and here and also there are a lot of dimensions missing here so let me see that so whatever this dimension it is uh, 16.20 okay so now whatever the dimension from this to this edge it is 170 by 2 okay and now let me see what are the dimensions that are left now let me draw a circle here so this circle with a 153 diameter this is just for you know construction purpose it is not required in our uh, model so i'm going to make it as a construction and then there is a distance from here to this edge it is 
and now there is a distance from here to this edge sorry until this so this is what 357 okay so now what one dimension is left that is this overall length so let me check how much it is so now this dimension is let me hit d and from here to here it is 470.20 okay sorry guys 471.20 okay so now as you can see here our sketch is fully constrained so now what i will do is i'll just finish the sketch and we are going to revolve this so go to revolve and select this sketch and my vector will be along this direction and the point will be this point okay any point you can select okay you can just click okay so this is what the profile we got now in the same way whatever we have done in part one and part two we have to make you know um, the profile over here so for that i'll just go to sketcher environment on this plane okay and here i'm going to draw a single sketch so i'm going to draw two lines here so this is one line and this is second line it should be vertical horizontal sorry and now let me go to arc here and this arc sorry guys okay arc okay so this is one arc and this is another arc okay these two should be concentric so i'll just give concentric to these two and now let me keep it here okay so now what i'll do is i'll just make uh, this point should lie on this x-axis so let me go to this point and lie on this line and this is also should lie on this okay and whatever these two lines should be vertically aligned okay and now there is a distance here <coughs> between this to this this is 29.70 okay now what i will do is I'll, i just need a point here intersection point so go to more and intersection point so i'll select this <coughs> now press c and coincide so this point should coincide with oops sorry guys so now this point should coincide with this point okay so now let me give a dimension for this so this is 156.75 and now there is a distance here so distance between this to this edge 72.29 okay and also there is a distance between this to this so it is 313.50 why there is an over constraint let us see okay just delete this and we'll see what is the over constraint here okay so now this is 313.5 divided by 2 so now what i'll do is i'll just close this and let me trim this extra lines and now there is a distance from here to here it is 2 and 2.63 okay so now let me close this profile so this profile i'm going to close it okay so this is one profile which is fully you know um it is fully you know constrained so now uh, what i will do is i'll just finish the sketch and i'm going to revolve this so go to revolve and select this sketch and here is my vector and this is the point of rotation and it should be united with the body and click ok so now we got this so now again i'm going to go into the same sketch and here i'm going to draw one circle so whatever the dima diameter for this will be 153 and now let me make this 
point should be on this x-axis now the distance between these two this will be 193.3 okay now let me draw one line here so which is this line and there is a distance of 7 mm so go to hit uh, D for dimensioning and Q 7 mm and you can just close it so now uh, we have to make a mirror of this so go to mirror curve and select this and then X axis so now let me close this profile so I'm going to close this here like this okay so now finish the sketch so here we have to remove the material so for that what I'll do is I'll just go to static wireframe here and now let me go to extrude and single curve and stop at intersection so I'm going to select each curve here okay I'm going to select these curves okay so now it is completely selected so I'll give a symmetric value okay here one more edge is missing okay so now symmetric value with the subtract and just click OK so now as you can see here this is our model so now what I'll do is I'll just uh, hide this sketch okay let it be so I will just go to sketcher environment on this plane now and I'll just click OK okay so here I'm going to draw two rectangles so whatever we have discussed in the last uh, you know uh, part so that is the same thing we are doing here so whatever this dimension it is uh, 44.55 and whatever uh, this dimension it is 8.40 okay and then now we need this uh, intersection point so go to more and intersection point and get that intersection point and there is a dimension here from this to this it is 7 mm okay so now what I will do is uh, I will just give you no, geometric constraint and uh, vertical alignment so whatever this point should be vertically aligned with this center okay let me see this <clears throat> okay let me do undo and now instead of giving a dimension let me give instead of giving a geometric constraint I will just provide an uh, dimension here so these two distance should be zero okay so now whatever the dimension for this it is 68.85 and now the distance between these two this center point it is 40.5 by 2 okay so now sketch is fully constrained so we can just finish the sketch and now what I will do is I will just go to okay I will just mirror these sketches so go to mirror curve and select this curve and this curve and this is my mirror center line Okay, so you can just click OK and finish the sketch. So now what I'll do is I'll just uh, revolve this and okay, keep it as a static wireframe. Now I'm going to revolve this. Okay, this one and also this one. So I'm going to revolve along this direction. Sorry. This direction and it should be removed from the body click apply so now I'm going to select this sketch so this sketch should be um, united with a body so I'll just give revolve this and unite this okay so vector along this direction and point will be this point okay now it is not a subtract it is unite can just click apply so now as you can see here this is our 
model so let me hide this okay so this is what the you know third uh, component guys so i'll just hit ctrl w and hide everything and show only solid bodies and i will just save this so in the next tutorial i'm going to do uh, you know uh, the fourth part and then assembly guys so please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys